Hello everybody. I am currently stuck in this building because the door requires mains. <sighs> Could take a good 10-15 minutes before somebody happens to come by so I thought I'd just do a quick vlog. And uh, by the way I am wearing a dressing gown. Um, two good reasons for that. One, it's very comfortable and two, my coat reeks of barbecues because I was using, I, I bought another um, disposable barbecue, it was only about three quid. Um, and then when all the smoke sort of drifts into you, I guess it, the smell kind of sticks or something, but now my coat stinks, so I can't, can't stand to use that. Uh, I'm in here because I was using the music over there. The piano is one of the few forms of entertainment I can still use. Uh, usually I would go on like YouTube or uh, do something, but I can't really do that at the moment, so, um, yeah, the piano is fun, it's good. Um, which brings me to product productivity, because with all this entertainment accessible whenever you want it, there's an argument that our ability to focus and do work when do stuff that we don't want to do has decreased because of all this availability of stuff that we do want all the time like um, entertainment and um, all sorts of things like delivery times like next day delivery and stuff it's all like instant it's all whenever we want it and so when we're doing stuff that maybe we don't want to do maybe our sort of focus goes down and there's a book called Deep Work that talks about it uh, I'll try and link link it, or at least give the author's name um, so you can find it, but um, I, hear, I hear it's very good, I'm going to try and get it as soon as I can, but um, yeah, I recommend that. Um, and for productivity, you might be wondering how I'm coping without a phone, because I would use this thing for, um, for a calendar, for a to-do list, like writing down my homework and stuff. I'd use it for uh, just writing down notes and reminders and things that I wanted to do later. Um, and all of that has been replaced by this book, which a good friend kindly gave to me. Uh, and it, I've been using a system called Strike Through. Uh, the through is spelt T H R U. There's an online community surrounding this. Um, this way of working um, and it's they call it ag analog because it's not a digital you don't use it on digital devices it just uses uh, a book but I've got like a weekly schedule of like when lectures are which they, they finish now so it doesn't matter uh, anymore but it was very useful uh, then sort of old fashioned calendars yep yeah. uh, then to do lists so basically these numbers reference you, you basically write down all of your to do's in a section near the back where is it there it is so you like detail all of them and then you sort of index it by page number and then you write down numbers for each page like 1 to 10 for each page so this task 1 2 is the first page the second task and that way you don't have to keep writing out everything all the tasks over and over again which is one of the uh, disadvantages of using paper so that hopes to circumvent that um, not sure if this has helped my productivity to be honest I think it would work for some people and I think if you're if, you, if you're not as productive as you'd like to be you should give it a try um, just for a week just see if, if it improves stuff because like the idea behind this is that like with a phone you'd get distracted by like all your notifications and social media and stuff whereas of a book like its only purpose is to help you record like when and where to do work and stuff so you can't get really distracted you can't get distracted from your work from that um, so yeah definitely recommend you look it up look it up strike through uh, a list of all the tasks so I haven't really been <laughs> using it loads of I have admittedly been keeping a lot of it in my head um, I've never been very good at productivity, got to say. Um, then at the back is like the notes section and stuff. Uh, <laughs> low games, whoops. Um, 
But yeah, I, I was wondering, like before and during doing this challenge, whether technology actually helps us be more productive, because a lot of technology does claim to help you be more productive. Um, like smartwatches and stuff, like it's there on your wrists. Um, but does it? Um, and I was specifically curious about music, because for a long time now I've been listening to music as I study, and I've never been sure if it... I, I sort of know in the back of, the mi of my mind that it, I kind of get a bit distracted by it. Um, especially like when you're listening to the radio and like um, a song you don't like comes on and you've got to keep like changing, changing the channel or the frequency. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if the benefit of having something nice to listen to actually outweighs the, like, the distraction it provides. Um, and I've been doing all my work now without any music and productivity hasn't really been affected so I'd say the music is kind of useless I'd, I'd say it isn't worth all the distractions personally maybe for some people it would work but at least with the way I've got it going now like with the radio I don't think it would work uh, so yeah that's something to um, definitely think about in the future because I would like to listen to the radio and do all sorts of crazy stuff and get horribly distracted by like YouTube and TV programs and stuff um, and that's part of what this book talks about like because um, the deep work is the idea that you can concentrate on something without wanting or needing a break for a long period of time um, just talking about how our ability to do that has decreased um, possibly due to technology, or probably. Um, so yeah, check it out. Um, four days to go. I'm talk about entertainment and stuff. There is so much that I'm missing that I really want to get back on. Like as soon as these four days are over, I'm going like straight playing three hours of video games, going on YouTube, going on BBC iPlayer, like catching up on everything because I miss it so badly. I get like these urges to do, to do stuff. Um, it's really difficult, like I recognize it from when I gave up the internet, but man, it, it hasn't made it any easier. It's still, still really difficult. So I'm looking forward to when this challenge is over. Um, yeah, that's all for today. See you next time.